lo and behold, this is the part that I get famous over. Anyways, so welcome back, viewers. Hi, I'm making food. Yeah, it's a delicious casserole. I, I have to say that. Your mom makes the best food in the world. Doesn't she? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I was just going to say, our next objective is the Silent Hill Historical Society. I feel like this is where we should have more of a wispy type action. <laughs> it actually kind of seems like something like... Welcome to Silent Hill. Stars of the American Revolution in it. Yeah. I I'm just saying, I feel like this is where we should have a very pompous attitude at the at the sightseeing of Silent Hill. I mean, look at the streets. They are just paved with this ancient architecture that blends perfectly with the rural area of Silent Hill. The automobiles, be it as they may, they just complement the streets. If you're asking what the fuck, Gildam, it, believe me, I, I have no idea. I'm just I'm, rolling I'm with the I'm idea. I'm kind of asking what the fuck, Gildam, a little bit. Like yeah, that. yeah, no. See, this is the thing you have to understand. When going into these parts, you never know what to expect. Even myself, I don't even know. I can't explain things. I'm just saying, Silent Hill Historical Society. It's a very iconic place. Also, if it wasn't made apparent, the billboard says so. So, you're welcome, everybody. I can't help but wonder... Who built the Silent Hill Historical? Because usually there's like this big background story for it. Oh yeah, well I mean, Silent Hill, uh, there's a lot. I, I don't know if I can really sum it up. Uh, all I have to say is I'm probably missing a couple items. Like I think there's the Jack's Inn that you could actually go and I'm pretty sure there's something there. I was just going to say, being that we scavenged a lot, I think we're good on items. Honestly, I, I, I feel like we're not going to have any issues. This is the part where we pretty much are, are set for the rest of the game. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm not avoiding stuff. I'm, I'm going to pick up whatever I can because, uh, you know, who doesn't like free shit? I like free shit. Same here. Yeah. I was a convention troll for a couple of years. Hey, no no complaints here. Like, they're giving away stuff. You take that. No, no, it's mine. I take it, but I changed my appearance and went back. Hey. They're, they're lost your gain. To, to be fair, though, I did give away a lot of the stuff that I took. I remember that. You you gave me some of that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I know. And then I ended up donating a lot of it to a local charity. Yeah. Anyways, there's not really much here, if I remember correctly. Uh, except, except some painting memos that we can kind of, you know, take a look. Waterfront, Waterfront landscape. I can't really see it. But there's this Alan Smith guy, you know. Alan Smith. Yeah. Seen from this area long ago from the style. It looks like it was done sometime around 1820. The, uh, no, wait, I'm fucking it up. <laughs> there were a lot of few, fewer people. Whatever, I don't care. Screw the wispy accent. The only handful of buildings. What? I want to see it. Do you see it? I don't see it. It's pro oh, the painting's not so there. The there's record, there's I, like an outline. I, I did find an Alan Smith from the, the uh, United States 1820 census. Wow. So, you know, may maybe it's iconic or maybe it's just coincidental. Okay. So, you know how I said we we're going to have a more detailed description? Oh, wow. That's yeah. interesting. I yeah. think that was actually in-game. Yeah. Uh, notice he holds a spear. Yeah, and notice where he holds it. Yeah. Just uh saying. <laughs> Also, notice saying. notice all the people in the cages. I mean, yeah, that have a vaguely feminine appearance. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying S and M, but I, I definitely, if we're going into a sexual tone, I mean, you know, Miss Misty Day remains, remains of, of the, the judgment. judgment. So that's saying post judgment then. Yeah, it's saying post, and so these are the people that's left, the sinners. Mm -hmm. Now I got a question, and it might very well be. Uh, it might very well be that. Uh, is that the boogeyman, or is that actually Pyramid Head? I think that's the Pyramid Head. Okay. Because, <laughs> if you don't know, there is a character that Pyramid Head essentially uh, created that's, I guess, travels through all of Silent Hill, regardless of characters. Gotcha. Uh, and it's the boogeyman, it's not Pyramid Head. But it looks exactly like Pyramid Head. In fact, you could say Pyramid Head and everyone would be like, yeah. Brookhaven Hospital, 19, er, 1880. That, this hospital was built on the response of the Great Plague. And I followed with... Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah. 
It has a history. That's where we were at. Everyone likes that. Everyone likes that. It's not important. It doesn't even. It doesn't even have like the memo census of. Uh, I was actually curious to see if there was a Brookhaven Hospital in 1880. I mean, maybe. I did find an actual. There is an actual Brookhaven Memorial Hospital Medical Center now. Oh wow! But mostly, I'm getting Silent Hill wiki stuff. Okay. Um. I'm actually really curious about this now. Yeah. So this is the endless hallway. Just oh, for wow. your sake, I probably put an edit here. I think it's very fitting. Uh, in real well, what's, though, what's for, really inter- this is, is this an endless hallway or a staircase? It, it's a staircase. So it's a staircase. So you know what's really interesting about this though? The, the descent. Not that. Not only is it ascent, but this this has a couple of different connotations. One, it can reference Dante's Inferno a little bit. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Given what Silent Hill is like. Yeah. And then the other is. Uh, the, 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 the well-known, you know, stairway to heaven mm-hmm. type thing, but he's not really going to heaven. It's more like he's, despite his ascent, it's more like he's descending into heaven. Well, that's what I was saying, descent. Because, I mean, you're going down. Oh, I thought you said ascent. No, like, I, wait, I said... Wait, are we ascending or No, descending? we're descending. Okay, so never mind about that. If, if but... it sounded like ascent, I, I, forgive me, I didn't project the, uh, the first part of that. I could I couldn't honestly tell. It's fine. But, um... I feel like that happens a lot when, uh... When I old say, games. Yeah. My point is, uh, we're still in the still historical dark. society. Like this is just a really weird reversed. part of... I don't know. I, I'm thinking part of this is in James's head. The other part is, uh... It doesn't matter. Uh, we have two lying figures. They're the straight jacket characters. Uh, I don't care about any of them. If I can avoid them, great. If I can't, well... I find it interesting that the, the street jacket characters yeah, like, fit. Uh, well, I mean, you know, what I mean, else? That's, are they that's pretty realistic. I mean, it's technically acid, stomach acid. Although yeah, I don't, but, but I can't really speak for those guys. What's, what's really interesting is, at my work, we recently had a staff training day, mm-hmm. and a, a therapist came in and taught us how to how to deal with a lot of the crazies that we have. Right. Um, and he actually talked about people that he works with that spit. Huh. Well, I mean, are we ta- we're talking about just spit, like saliva. We're not yeah. talking about like, like acidic. Acid. Yeah. We're, okay, we're not talking about projectile vomit. Oh, are you ready for oh, the? Oh, I love this section. The icon. It's not the section you're thinking of, but it's it's related. This is our first taste, if you will. Into yeah. Because I'm still I still got have that pompous attitude. You know, you really gotta take in all the aesthetics the symbolism that's going here because it is the historical society and okay so we're not gonna see eddie yet no no uh, i'm afraid what you're thinking of it has not whoa um is that an effect on the water or what am i looking at uh, yeah it's water okay so here's a little bit of a puzzle uh but it's really just you're uh you're searching the walls until you find something different because, you know, it's just like, it's just a wall. He'll say something different if it's not just a wall. That's kind of frustrating. Though. It is a very frustrating... Oh, see, he found something. What you gotta do... Hit it. Solution solved. If you don't know what you're doing, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna scratch your head and be like, What the fuck, game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a what the fuck moment. Yeah, alright. So, uh, we got we got more of these guys. Not a fan. Uh, as far as I know, I think there's a door over here. Or, no, there's not. In fact, I'm just thinking of things. Uh, what I am thinking is I need to go in here. I'm pretty sure this is... Yep, yeah, okay. Are you ready for probably the most frustrating part, or at least one of them? Sure. Okay. So, I bet you're saying, pick up the key, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. pick up the... Oh, wait. I, my flashlight went off. What do I do? Oh man, if there was only an item I picked up at the hospital that I could do this. And holy shit, look at all the bugs. What the fuck? Right? So, don't fight them. Uh, despite what it looks like, don't fight them. Your real thing is you just have to go to this keypad, punch in the numbers at random, or at least I think it's 319. And if it is, this happens. So I'm pretty sure it's 319 regardless. You get the key. 
and then you go here and then it's like locked door guess what more descent so we're getting a, a pretty constant descent first the staircase now then the hole then this yeah it, it's gonna rev up more so I mean it, a couple of different of it implications oh I'm, I'm pretty sure i mean like if you ask me it's probably the most common which is you know the descent into hell well that it's pretty obvious i mean at least it can oh is this what i think it caught scene Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You... you killed him? But, but it wasn't my fault. He made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Just tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh, yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. It's just like that stupid dog. You got it coming, too. Eddie. <sighs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. <laughs> oh, you're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie? So, this is probably our first real insight to Eddie uh, as, yeah. as a character. Before this, I, I would say Eddie acts pretty normal, despite the fact that... Yeah, Eddie was more of just, like, your average non-PC before. I mean, yeah, we saw him puking, but that's about it. Yeah, like I said, I, I find that very normal in comparison to, like... I don't know, I find it a very normal response to, like, the situation at hand. Granted, it, it's gross, but yeah, then you but see him... it's a human response. Yeah, but then, like, the other side... Like, then later you see him scarfing down a pizza, which... Sure, like, it, it's a little, uh... It's a little much, but at the same... That's, no, that's a spoon. Uh, I'm just saying, like, he seems like the type of guy who is a little bit of a stressful eater. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that, in turn, would be, like, kind of a way to calm yourself down, given the situation. Not, not only that, but in general, Eddie's just kind of shown in kind of a grotesque light. Yeah. But not necessarily insane. No. Until now. Yeah, until now. And but, but, but before this, even the eating the pizza and the puking were just a matter of disgust. Yeah. I gotta think for a second, cause this. Oh, I don't. That's right. I don't have a map yet, cause I remember I get the map in here. So, this is our first real insight that there's something more to Eddie, and you're getting the feeling that you know Eddie. He's he's not he's not like the type of guy that you were like. Oh man, he's like my new BFF. Granted, you were always like fuck that guy. I yeah, I and I don't blame you. I mean. I'll say this, there's more to Eddie than really meets the eye, but at the same time, um, the latter half really does not paint, like, an image where you can find mercy or pity or, like, some sort of redeeming qualities, whereas with James and Angela, I feel like you can kind of portray that. And I'll get into that more later. But, but Eddie has something else going on entirely. Oh, yeah. And, I, and if it's what I think it is, I mean, I completely agree. Fuck that guy. But, again, because it's Eddie, I have to play the devil's advocate just because there's other things to Eddie than just being a one-sided note. Like, for instance, uh, as I think I said it before, like, or if I haven't, well, I seem to find, like, three things in common with both Angela, James, and Eddie. Can you reveal any of them now? Uh, I could. Actually, you know what? I th no, I can't. I, I was going to bring one... Uh, but eh, I can't really bring that up yet. I mean, granted, I know spoilers, but at the same time, like, that, that's not really it at all. Uh, I, I'm just saying, I think if I was going to talk about yeah, it, I need more time. Scene, or was, did we already do the toilet scene? Oh, we already did the toilet scene. Oh, okay. I just knocked on the door. 
I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was busy. Or used. Alright. You know what? I'm going to have here. Next time. Um, the prison. Awesome. The prison.